Hi ladies, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, girl, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And if you are not new here, then hey girl, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Today is a chit chat, get ready with me video where I am just giving you some tips, answering some comments and questions that I've been getting a lot recently in the comment section of some of my videos. So I'm just addressing that and giving you some tips and just encouraging you a little bit while you watch me do my makeup. If you would like more videos like this, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So today, um, the makeup look that I'm wearing is brought by um, this foundation, I mean not foundations, eyeshadow palette by Frida Kahlo. It's, um, you can find this um, makeup palette at Ulta Beauty. And I can't remember the price, but it's no more than $30. Um, but the reason that I wanted to um, try out this makeup palette and introduce it on my YouTube channel, just because it goes in line with what I talk about with um, you know standing out from the crowd, um, empowering yourself, being fearless, being free, not worrying about what others think of you or say, you know, doing the things that you love and make you happy, um, being unique, standing out, being creative, you know, doing the things that you love and. And so yeah, this woman is all about empowerment, being unique, being different. Um, she's known for having the unibrow and the lip mustache, and she was she was a famous artist. Um, so I guess she was born 1907 and passed away in 1954. But she definitely um, was unique in her look, in her paintings, in her artwork. And she was fearless and unapologetic about it. So yeah, I wanted to um, buy this palette since it just represents uh, me and what I talk about and just empowering women and encouraging them to be their best selves and to love who they are and their uniqueness. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. And these are the colors. Okay, and so I love this eyeshadow palette because you can do a warm fall color with this palette, fall's coming up, or you can do like cooler colors, okay? And I'm, I really love, I'm so here for this yellow and this orange color. And as you can see, I try to do like a fall color and I just wanted, I just added a little bit of this purple color um, on the outsides just to give it, I don't know, like a girly, fall romantic kind of eyeshadow look and i just love the saying on the eyeshadow palette it says never apologize for who you are so yeah i just really wanted to bring this to you ladies and just use it and watch you um for you ladies to watch me put the eyeshadow on and yeah let me know what you think and maybe you can go out and get the eyeshadow palette for yourself and i also love that it comes with this eyeshadow swatcher brush swatcher where you can clean your brushes with and you can also use this box as a keepsake keepsake box you can display it in your makeup room you can put use it as storage and put things in so yeah i'm just so here for it i hope you're here for it too and yeah today i'm just gonna be um doing this makeup look so i'm gonna be using um my mary Kay eye primer and i'm just gonna prime my eyes i don't know what kind of look i'm gonna do just yet um i think i want to do like maybe something that looks kind of fallish since fall is coming up and fall can just not get here soon enough it's been super hot um, lately this week it's been really cool I know this weekend has been really cool and it's just getting me excited for fall so fall just cannot get here quick enough I am just like so ready for it I do love warm weather but yeah I'm just ready for fall to get here okay so um what am I gonna start with all right since I'm gonna do a fall look i think for my transition shade i think i'm gonna start um with this color called armor i'm gonna start with this color right here yes and i'm just gonna use this fluff brush and put it okay so 
basically what I want to tell you ladies is um, I know I get a lot of questions about, you know, how did I survive um, having a salon with no clients, you know, and paying 300 a week. So as I said before, I know I have a lot of new subscribers on my channel. Um, so in previous videos, I believe I've said this before that um, I did strategize do a little bit of you know research and strategize before my, I moved in my salon suite and it did require a little bit of patience on my behalf you know because I know when you're ready to do something and you're ready to stop working for people you know I know how like you know you can get kind of antsy with you know jumping out there because you know you're ready to work for yourself so I know how that feels, but I just want to encourage you ladies, like for those of you who want to open up your own salon or you whatever business you want to start, um, I know I'm super positive on my channel and, you know, I bring you ladies the best advice that I can based off of what has worked for me. Um, and I know I kind of make it look easy, but I have stated in previous videos that, you know, starting your own business in the beginning is, it's a lot of hard work. You know, it's hard. It's not easy. Um, it is rewarding. It is, um, fulfilling. It is all of those. And I wouldn't change a thing. And I'm so glad that I did what I did, but it does require a lot of patience. It does require a lot of stamina. And so to answer you ladies question, before I moved in my salon suite, I did know how much my rent was gonna be. And I did try to come up with a strategy that would help me because you know I knew what I was working with. You know, I knew that I didn't have any clients. I knew that it was kind of like a do or die moment. <laughs> You know, 300 a week is a lot of money. You know, that's that's not nothing to sneeze at. And, um, you know, even my husband was like, oh, my gosh, babe, like 300 a week. So he was nervous. I was nervous. But, you know, I just knew that if I'm going to make a move like this, I knew that I needed to take it seriously. I knew that I needed to strategize, discipline myself, buckle down and really take it seriously because, you know, you know, my husband is supporting my dreams and he's down for it, you know, and I do want to show him that I do, you know, appreciate his support. So the second color that I'm going to use in my crease is this color called Lava. I accidentally went and dipped my brush in it before, but yeah, that's what I'm going to use right in here. I hope it doesn't make it too dark. So I'm just going to lightly go right in the crease and just darken that area just a little bit just very lightly yeah so um one thing that i made sure it was that even though you know my husband supports me and he holds down the house and mostly pays all the bills i it was a point that i wanted to make sure that i never had to take resources from our personal income to pay my salon rent okay so that's something that i know a lot of some people may think that my husband pays my rent for me but he doesn't uh that's something that i make sure that i'm responsible for that i take care of no matter what and i make sure that i do what i need to do to be able to take care of my salon rent and you know when you have a business it requires you to do things that nobody wants to do you know in the beginning starting a business as i've said before is not glamorous at all you know i didn't pay myself for a year you know what i'm saying it's not glamorous to i don't want to say be broke because i was I felt like I was investing, you know, even though I didn't have any money personally in my pockets for myself um, and my I couldn't buy things or couldn't do things for myself that I used to could do, you know, when I worked for other people and I had a job, I was willing to, you know, take to to go through that because, you know, I was investing in myself. It's like anything when you invest in your education, when you invest in paying off credit card debt when you invest in buying a home when you invest in saving up emergency fund all of those things that we should do 
requires sacrifice, you know? And at the time, it's not comfortable, but what, what makes it doable is that you have a goal. You, you know, you have a goal in mind, you know? And the goal and the feeling of that goal is worth going through whatever pain you had to go through. So I know I get a lot of comments of, you know, ladies asking me, Amber, how did you do it? How did you do it? And so, yes, I didn't pay myself for a year. All the money that I made from, you know, my clients, I put it back in my business because, you know, when you're building your clientele, you know, you as a business owner, just having a business is just so up and down, you know, nothing's for sure. And so I think that was like a smart, wise decision on my part to just use all my money to invest back into my business. Every now and again, you know, I would pay myself, but it wasn't nothing like glamorous. You know what I'm saying? And I know people are like, oh my gosh, Amber, you didn't pay yourself for a year, but a lot of successful business people don't pay themselves for a year. You know, and there's different ways you can do it. You know, some people will have a job and they will hustle and grind, you know, and keep their job and let their job invest into their dream. And or some people will save up, you know, they'll discipline themselves and they'll take the they'll be patient enough to save up. So it's really up to you um, and what strategy, you know, how you want to go about doing it. It's really, really up to you. Um, so. All right, ladies, so I think for my lid color, I think I'm going to use um, this color Mystical. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of gold on top of it, okay, to get that kind of like nice burnt orangey fall color. And actually, I think I want to actually do another color in the crease area. I think I'm going to do this adobe color right in the crease area too to kind of warm it up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to use this angled shader brush and I'm going to put warm that up a little bit. So yes, ladies, it's up to you, you know, what strategy that you're going to use to, um, you know, fund your dream. You know, you can either... Take the time up, give yourself, you know, a year, two years, three years and save up enough money to where you can pay your bills and you can successfully run your business without the burden of, you know, how you're going to pay your rent, how are you going to um, pay your bills, uh, or you can just, you know, you can work it and not pay yourself, basically. So, I my case is is going to be different from a lot of people cuz a lot of some of you don't have anyone that you can fall back on, you know, and I understand that and so I understand everyone's situation is different and that's why I do have a video which I if I can remember, I'll try to leave that link of different ways to fund your business. And so that's why I made that video of different strategies. You have to strategize. You can't just like you know, willy nilly be like, oh, I'm going to start a business and not have a plan and not have a strategy. You have to be very pacific and deliberate and think about how you're going to go about to get the things that you want. And I guess being a strategist and a problem solver, you know, Virgos are good with that. But I do that with anything I want. You know, when I when I wanted a house, when I wanted a dog, when anything that I really, really want and I'm serious about it, whatever it is, I'll figure out a way to get it. You know, if it's that important to me, I'm going to figure out a way to get it. You know, that's just how I am. I'm going to strategize. I'm going to like really think about it. So, you know, starting a business takes some critical thinking. And also, too, starting a business requires you to find the gap, to find the problem. You know, in where in my city where I live at in Chapel Hill, it's not a lot of good barbers in Chapel Hill. It's not a lot of places where men can go and get a great haircut, you know. And so um, I knew that, you know, when I worked for other people, I would hear that, you know, it's hard to find a place, you know, in Chapel Hill where people know, you know, how to cut men's hair, like they know how to fade. 
and even with women you know it's just hard to find a good a person that knows how to do a good haircut in my city you know and so chapel hill and carborough is such a small place it's such a small town and so being that i was already doing that i was already cutting hair and cutting men's hair i said hey you know when i if i ever jump out and start my own salon and start a business you know i'm going to specialize in male grooming because that's where the gap is you know if that makes sense so i encourage any of you ladies who want to start any business or you want to find a salon i encourage you to find what the problem is you know find out what the gap is that's going to make you valuable you know so now i'm going to add this color mystical on the top of my lid yes it's so important Ooh, that is gorgeous that is gorgeous okay let me stop let me get back focus yeah, so that's one of the things I would encourage you ladies is to find the problem, find the gap. What's missing? What is what are people needing, you know, as far as like hair and, you know, services? You know, how can you come into your city and fill the gap and solve a problem? And then once you find out what that is, you have to be patient, you know? You have to be patient with allowing people to find you and that's a lot of what i see a lot of hairstylists including myself in the beginning we don't charge enough you know we don't charge enough where we should be at we don't really charge because we feel like you know because we can do it and it's so easy you know that when we work for ourselves we don't need to charge that much and that's that's not the case you have to charge what you're worth you have to make sure that you're charging your time the services you offer the experience you have to make sure that you're charging enough and then once you set those prices where they need to be at then you have to be patient and let people find you and that's what i try to tell you ladies is like you know don't go discounting your services because you're impatient and you're trying to get like a bulk of people to come in your salon no you need to be patient you need to like have strategize saved up money however much money you need to save up and be patient and allow people to find you because the ones that find you are going to pay and that's what i found out you know it, i i live around a college town but college students you know ironically are not my they're not my target audience i thought they would be but you know the college students in my town they want to spend their money on going out at night they want to spend their money on buying drinks at the club they have the money but they they value that money going somewhere else if that makes sense and so not that i don't want to cut college students hair that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is is like that's not who i'm trying to reach you know in college the so the college students i i just like stopped trying to focus on them and i just focused on people who value a hair a nice haircut people who value uh looking nice and want to want something stylish want something that looks nice want something that they don't have to wait two weeks for it to grow out to look nice because that's what i hear a lot you know a lot of a lot of the guys tell me like oh i never like my haircut coming out of salon i only i only like it like two weeks after it's grown out and it's like, no, I'm not about that life. I like, if I cut your hair, I want you to like it, you know, as soon as, like, when you see it, when I show you, before you walk out the salon, I don't want you to have to like it two weeks, you know, after it's grown out. You know, that's whack. That's not what you're paying me for. So I'm just going to add Muse, just like right in the center, not too much, because I do love this orangey shimmery color, and I don't want to lose it, so I might, um have to go back and put that there but yes ladies so you need you you have to be patient when you start a business and one of the things that has helped me grow my business is um good old-fashioned referrals and word of mouth i promise you ladies i'm not doing anything mysterious i'm not doing anything that's like a secret it's just word of mouth and that's what my brother-in-law told me in the beginning when i started he was like amber don't discount your prices just be patient and the best way that your business is gonna grow is through word of mouth 
and that that was it really um so i know there's a lot of um you know there's a lot of emphasis on using social media um to grow your business and i don't disagree with that but i promise you put your business on google put your business on google you know make sure that it's like professional looking make sure whatever time of hours you're going to be working make sure you stay true to that um make sure you have your pictures what people can um expect and encourage all of your clients to leave a review and refer people to you you have to ask you have to make it a habit and open up your mouth and tell your clients hey you know if you love your service today you know give me a shout out you know let me let me know how you liked it all right ladies i'm really loving this kind of like neutral fall look so for my eyeliner i'm going to use um this kat von d eyeliner this is like my favorite eyeliner i've been using it for a year now and i just i have the fine the fine point tip and it's just really good and i, I think i'm gonna buy it again even though it is kind of pricey i believe it's 19 dollars but i'm gonna I'm going to buy it again just because it's so good and it doesn't skip or anything. And I really love the point tip, how you can really get in the corners of your eyes. Yeah, ladies, but I hope I'm not all over the place. Like, I hope you get what I'm saying, that your business requires a, a level of patience, you know, and it requires you to stand the test of time, to have stamina and while you're waiting it requires you to be consistent to to not slack off and to give that great experience so for my eyelashes guys i'm using the voluminous um l'oreal mascara this is one of my favorite 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 drugstore uh mascaras i only use l'oreal for my mascara um, when I was doing Mary Kay, I love their Mary Kay Love Lash Mascara. So that's another favorite of mine, but I'm out. I don't have any. So my second choice is definitely the um, this the L'Oreal Mascara. And I actually, L'Oreal has been, Mascara has been an all-time favorite of mine since like my early 20s, like since high school. So when I tell you that I love something... You can trust it. So, I'm... All right, ladies, here is what my eyes are looking like um, after I've did my foundation. So you can really see the colors pop now um, with my foundation on. So I do like to go back in after I've had my foundation, if I've lost any color or maybe a color has been overtaken by another color, I will go back in and just touch up my eyes a little bit. And I do like to put a little bit of color under my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I think I want to deepen um, the outside corners of my eyes with this purple color. So I am just gonna put a little bit of the purple right around the outer corners of my eye. And this color is called Magic. So I'm just going to take my angled shader brush and I'm just going to swirl it around in my little, um, I forget what these are called, but it's basically a brush cleaner where you can, you know, brush your brushes in here and it'll take the, the next color off. And this actually comes with this eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. The colors in this palette are really pretty. You really can create so many different looks. You can create a cool tone look uh, with the pinks and the purples, or you can create a warm look with the colors that I've used. And you can see that color is showing up really, really pretty. So I'm just basically like tapping it on to really to get the color to really show and I'm just only putting it on the outer corners and it gives me like a sunset look basically but yeah ladies let me know if you want me if you like these type of chit chat videos where I give you know I told you I wasn't gonna leave you ladies hanging with you know salon suite and business advice because I know it's helped you ladies out a lot 
um, you know, so I am still going to do that. I just don't want that to be the focus. But I think these chit chat videos are a good way to address questions um, that you ladies have or, you know, the same kind of questions that I end up seeing in the comments. I think it's a great way to address them. So if you like these chit chat videos, let me know below in the comments. Um, and if you don't mind the videos being long and you want to see how I do like my full face, like how I do my foundation, just let me know um, in the comments. Yeah, that is really pretty. So I'm just going to take a fluff brush and I actually need to buy some more eyeshadow brushes. But I'm just going to take a fluff brush, roll it around and I'm just going to kind of, you know, go over and blend that out. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. I am loving it, loving it, loving it. So now it's time for to do color on my bottom lids. So I think I'm going to use, I'm going to start with this color armor. And then I'm probably going to go back in with mystical just to get to make my eyes pop a lot. Or... I could do this orange color, but no, I think I'm going to stick to this. I told you ladies, this is like, I'm freestyling it. I, I didn't look at this palette and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I just really just was like picking it as I go. But yeah, what I want you ladies to take away from this video, because I just hope I didn't seem like I was rambling and I was all over the place and I wasn't making sense, is that anything that you want, your dream is worth fighting for is worth sacrificing for and it's worth being patient for and i've told you ladies in previous videos that most businesses really don't see a profit or see all of their hard efforts that they put in until about three to five years depending on what kind of business you have and i'm in my second year we're going into my third year and ladies, I'm starting to see a lot of growth, a lot of growth. You know, I put my business on Google probably three to six months into my business and I've constantly uploaded pictures, constantly telling my clients to leave reviews for me and I'm just now seeing results from that. I'm just now seeing uh, new clients, you know, on a weekly basis say hey i found your business on google or i seen your reviews on your salon lofts profile oh i see that you specialize in men's grooming which is another thing when you when you're in these salon suites be clear with what you do you know and with what you do make sure you post pictures and reviews because that's gonna let people know you know what you're good at and do you have a service there they need so when clients see that I specialize in men's grooming and haircuts and yes I special I focus on men's haircuts but I do let them know that women are welcome and all textures are welcome I specialize in all text textures I can cut any type of hair it don't matter it don't matter it could be the kinkiest driest spongiest kind of hair or it could be the most finest softest baby blonde hair there is it just really doesn't matter i made sure when i you know got a hair school that i was going to be versatile and that i was going to be able to cut any kind of hair and it really wasn't going to matter the ethnicity or the texture you know what i'm saying and so that just makes me more sought out after it makes me more valuable and that's one thing too ladies you have to make yourself valuable you can't be scared to do stuff you can't just get in the habit of only working with you know one type of hair texture you have to make sure that whatever you're doing that you can do it on any type of hair because that's what we went to school for we didn't go to school to just you know only be good at working with one type of hair no we went to school to be great at hair doesn't matter what type of hair it is so i have a you know very diverse clientele i don't have a lot of um you know african-american clients because chapel hill is sad to say it is not diverse and is predominantly you know a certain group of people but that's okay um because people visiting and 
you know, people who are new to the area, they see that I, I have different ethnicities, Hispanic, Asian, African American, Caucasian, they're like, wow, this girl, she can do any type of hair, you know, and a lot of clients say, well, if you can, a lot of the female clients that I, that come to me, they're like, well, if you can cut a man's hair and you can fade and do clippers, you can most certainly cut my hair because they feel like cutting men's hair and working with clippers is hard. So what I'm doing now, ladies, is I'm just going back in and taking this color Muse and I'm putting it in the corners of my eyes. Yeah, so you just be clear about what you do. Be consistent. Get in the habit of saying the same thing all the time, every day when you work and you take clients. Um, get used to like a way, a routine, like a way, a system, a way that you do stuff to ensure great quality work every time. And so I have no problem doing that. You know, I want to make sure that I have a system, a way that I service clients, a way that I, you know, talk to them and ask them what they want. It's a, it's a way that I do it every single time. I rarely change it, rarely change it. I try to make sure that I get in the habit of a certain way that I service clients every single time to ensure great quality work every single time. And I also make sure uh, that every return client, I don't care if they've been coming me coming to me for two years, I make sure that I do the same quality work uh, the first time they came. That's really important to me. Return client is always a first-time client. If you get in the habit of doing that, you'll always be great. You'll always give the same quality work. No one will ever ever be able to say, oh, Amber was having a bad day. Amber, you know, she didn't do it the way she did it last time. If anything, they might say I went too short or I left it too a little too long, but I, I rarely get that. If I do get it, it's with women. And it, nine times out of 10, they asked for it and they just didn't realize how short it was going to be. But I rarely, rarely get that because I'm really big on listening. <sighs> All right, ladies. So the highlight I decided to use was like a bronzy gold highlight just for this fall color. Because when I think of fall, I just think of burnt oranges and gold colors. So for my lipstick, you ladies know that I love... I mean, I've just been wearing this Aaliyah um, Try Again nude lipstick for like forever. It's my go-to lipstick. And uh, I just, I don't know. I love the way nude colors look on me. So I'm going to be using the Try Again um, MAC for Aaliyah collection. And I'm just going to use a chocolate lip liner for this. I'm a 90, I'm a product of the 90s. Um, it's hard for me not to use brown lip liner. All right, ladies, here is the finished look. Um, the eyelashes that I am using today, they're uh, by a brand called Cherry Blossom. And I, they're 3D mink lashes. Um, and I actually got these from my local beauty store. So yeah, that's where I got the lashes from. And I'm going to set my face. I like to use the Urban Decline. Ugh, urban clay urban decay uh d slick spray setting spray or i use the all-nighter setting spray so i'm just gonna shake it i have super oily skin set my makeup okay so yeah so this is the finished look i hope you ladies enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me video um, so yeah, I want you ladies to leave if you with this, the takeaway, that if you are wanting to move in a salon suite, if you are currently in a salon suite, if you want to start a business, know that you have to be patient. Great things do not happen overnight. And you have to be willing to do all the boring stuff, stuff that takes sacrifice, things that nobody wants to do. You have to do those things. And you have to be consistent in those things while you wait. You cannot slack off just because things are not happening right away, just because you don't see it. You must consistently do those things that you know that are going to bring success and results. Investing back into your business.
saying the same thing to your clients, to leave a review for you, to refer people to you, to make sure you show up um, on time for your business, to make sure that you're present for your business, to make sure you take pride in your business, to make sure you're doing that great work, that your skill level is up, your skill level is high, to make sure that you're giving that great quality customer service, um, and to make sure that you are continuing to do those things consistent, consistently even when you're not seeing the results, okay? So you're gonna have to be patient. I'm just now seeing, uh, you know, growth, major growth in my business from things that I did almost two years ago, okay? So I hope that really just hits home with you and to not quit, to not give up, and to hang in there no matter what and know that it's going to happen, okay? And while you're waiting, just continue to be great. Continue to be positive. Continue to do the things that you know are going to bring you results. That is how you do it. I know when I get on camera, I'm super positive and I probably make it super easy. But I want to let you know it's hard. It was very, very hard, okay? It's very hard to stay positive, to stay motivated, uh, my words. It's very hard to stay positive and motivated when you're not seeing the results right away. Sometimes you might get an urge to not put all 100% in it, but you must because it will pay off. And when it pays off, you want to make sure that you have built a solid foundation and that you have you know created something beautiful that when the clients do come you are ready you know that saying is stay ready to um stay ready so you won't have to get ready okay because the overflow is coming the blessings are coming but when you start your dream it's a bit of initiation process and i'll talk about that in another video but it's like you get initiated it's going to test you to see if you have the stamina if you have the mental willpower if you have the willpower the discipline and are you going to be accountable and consistent those things are so so important so yeah i hope you ladies have enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me video and the business tips and let me know in the comments if what I've said has helped you and if you like these chit chat videos and if next time I do a chit chat video, if you don't mind it being long and I'll do my foundation and contouring and everything, okay? Well, that's it, ladies. I will see you in the next video. I love you. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.